Diana 30 Neo Review by Air Gandhi. State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the shooting range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Yeah. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Finally, it's there and I smile like a little kid. I have the all new Diana 30 Neo here. The 30 Neo is the successor of the legendary Diana 30. I'm pretty sure most of you have already shot the Diana 30. You don't know it? Yeah, well, I'm sure you have been at a shooting gallery at a fair or carnival and took a few shots at uh, clay stars, roses or these these moving ducks that are bobbing past you and uh, the chances that you held a Diana 30 in your hands are very very high. Together with two or three other models it, it really shaped the shooting galleries over the last decades. Now the shooting gallery rivals haven't been built anymore for over 10 years but uh, the rough handling of people that uh, rocked and shake the guns to get some hits maybe after drinking their fifth stein left some marks on these rifles. Sometimes you can find one of these old shooting gallery rifles on Egon or Octronia but yeah more than often they are in bad shape. I'm grateful that Diana took this by heart and released the Diana 30 Neo so that public and private shooting galleries are well equipped for the next decades. Um, there, there was the uh, Diana Oktoberfest rifle. I think I reviewed it in 2018 after it was released at the EVA. Um, it is less cost in uh, intensive and uh, intended for hobby shooters at home. The Diana 30 Neo is super robust, I will show you the details and it's built for strenuous work in shooting galleries. I'll just start telling you something about this rifle and then of course we'll have a trigger test, a shooting test and a sound test. Okay, let's start, have fun! So here it is, the Diana 30 Neo. 111.5 cm long, a barrel length of 57 cm and an overall weight of 3.8 kg. The caliber is 4.4 mm and it is shot with BBs, meaning baby balls. Uh, that's these uh, copper plated lead balls. Please don't try to squeeze in steel balls or anything else. Exclusively use these copper plated lead balls so you don't damage the barrel or the, the gun in general. Down here is the BB reservoir which holds 120 balls. I'll show you different filling options later. We have a beautiful beechwood stock with a rubber butt plate which is uh, set apart from the stock by this white ring. It uh, mirrors the look of the Diana logo here, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, then we have a front and rear side. And here we have something special. The front side is height adjustable, meaning you can turn this uh, 360 degrees uh, to compensate for high or low shots. The rear side is adjustable sideways. Normally, or with most of the guns, you have a fixed front side and the rear side goes left, right, up, down. Here we have a more robust solution. Um, works like this. You have a 1.5 mm hex uh, hole back here and on the front. Just loosen it a bit and you can adjust your iron sides as needed. Next is the cocking mechanism, which is CNC milled premium quality, of course. It is uh, very sturdy to handle rough usage. The repeating lever has a ball on the tip, which can be unscrewed. And in the box you'll find a second lever, 
dieser, dieser andere Griff letzten Endes. And from the looks I like the ball better, but I have to say they really put some thought into this. Because uh, gripping this one you just have more to hold on and repeating goes a bit easier. We go for the next specialty. We have an 11 mm prism rail up here. I don't see many people doing this, but you have the option to shoot it with a scope. Um, what I can imagine better is attaching a red dot up here and, and maybe shoot with that. For my taste, a shooting gallery rifle has to be shot with iron sights, but I'm glad that tastes are different and I love that Diana is giving hobby shooters that yeah, maybe exclusively shoot with scope have the option to do so now. Down here we have, oh well, let me just turn it around first. What's an absolute must, of course, is the counter. It counts from 0 to 999, but of course you can reset it anytime with this uh, screw down here. There's a tool for it in the box. You just uh, turn it around once clockwise until it is reset to zero again. This is mostly interesting for public shooting galleries, which can track how many shots have been taken. Yeah, and this is the same for the 30 Neo as it was for the Diana 30. Another highlight is the high quality trigger. I am confident that it is based on the Diana T06 trigger. Form and functions are almost identical. In, uh, in the trigger guard you can find two holes, so you can use a 1.5 mm hex wrench to manipulate the screws. And then you can adjust the trigger travel, trigger pull and trigger weight. I'd say our first test will be the trigger test to find out what the trigger weight is. I'm just grabbing my trigger tester and my safety glasses. I just filled in the first BBs. I did it without camera because I would need another pair of hands to show it properly. Um, best is to put the gun on the ground with the butt plate first. Then you grab the little funnel from the box and push it in here. There's a little spring and by pushing it in the reservoir is opened and you can easily fill the BBs into the reservoir. It is important that while cocking the gun uh, it stands upright or maximum in a 45 degree angle. Because uh, if you place the gun like this, shut up for a second, you hear the bullets rolling to the front uh, from where I can't get them into the chamber. This means hold the gun upright, live up, back and forth and to the right again. This alone is so much fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just park it here again. Grab the trigger tester and set it to kilogram and gram. I already cocked the gun. And then we take a shot. And you can see the trigger weight is set to 340 gram. This is really good and it goes super smooth so you, you don't have to work too hard to, and the chance to blow your shot with this trigger weight is really small. My recommendation, since we basically have the setup already, I'll go for the sound test next so we can find out how loud the rifle is. I'm repeating again. And I'm resetting again.
and we have a result of 87.4 dB. Of course, this gun is not silenced. It doesn't matter in a shooting gallery either way, but if you want to shoot in your apartment, you know what you have to work with. Now, here we are at the shooting test, but I want to show you something first. You know, this loading help exists. It is optional, as I mentioned before, and you can fill in up to 1000 BBs. But I won't fill in that many right now, since I don't need it. I'm opening the, uh, the bottle and filling in a couple. You could also unscrew the whole lid if you want to. Now here you can see this uh, slightly offset small bar and when I turn here it goes through the BBs and, and pushes them down to the exit. This is the advantage compared to the funnel from the box while this funnel also works really well. The balls roll in step by step. Um, if you are in a hurry you can go for the optional funnel here. Now let me show you. Can you can you see that? Yeah, you can. You just put it on top. And then Oh yeah, that's way faster. <laughs> Tuck. They're all in already. And here in the front you have a little window. Down here. I hope you can see it. Now, while you are filling the rifle, you see when the window fills up with BBs, so you know when you put in 120 pieces. Like I said, I didn't put in that many because I don't need them right now. But now let's go for the shooting test. Distance is 4 meters or 4.4 yards. I move back a bit so you can see better. Uh, it's a quite unusual setup because my studio has limits, so today I'm I'm shooting from this table into my shooting gallery. Um, but now I'll shut up and concentrate and take a few shots. Ich konzentriere mich jetzt aber mal, dass ich nicht völlig vor uns und dann machen wir mal ein paar Schuss. I'm sure a lot of you know and understand how much fun this is. This year I, I was at a little fair with my junior and shot a, a huge cuddle toy for him. <laughs> and re repeating alone is so much fun. Uh, even if my whole stance is a bit weird right now. <laughs> The trigger is... man, I can't shoot like this, my elbow hurts. I, I'll just grab something. Okay, I'll use a pack of tissues, which looks really stupid, but I have to improvise a bit. And of course I completely blew this one shot. Please ignore that one. If I if I see it right from here, I I placed it far down right. The gun is recoil free. The the 2.5 joule power are not forced on the shooter. Still shouldn't talk too much, otherwise I won't hit anything. Yeah, but you can see distance of 4 meters. Why is he only shooting 4 meters? Well, think of these shooting galleries. Normally they are 2.8 to 3 meters wide. And this gun is made for these distances. Plus we are shooting balls which don't have the best ballistic quality. Yeah, so this is made for short distances. Well, I think I'm just seeing it from a distance, but it's a bigger hole now 
meaning they are they are close together, no big spread. I'll take one more and then we'll go plinking. You have to say the, the front side, I'm, I'm just showing you, hope you can see it. It is super fine to uh, precisely pick a target, but now we are blinking. <laughs> I am uh, shooting the upper lead first on purpose. No, I'm not. <laughs> Man, I'm sweating. Well, yeah, it's not the best shooting position. Here we go. Let's see if I can hit the chicken. Nice. Now the other pyramid. Now I'll try to hit the small target in the shooting box. Let's see if I hit. Now let's try to hit the other small one. You see how precise the gun is? Yeah, nice. That's how it's got to be. The barrel is Lothar Walter, made in Germany like the rest of the gun. Germany, made in Germany wie das ganze Gewehr. You know, the Diana performance line is exclusively built in Germany. The good thing with the balls is, oh, let me first check if I can hit this. Yep. The good thing with the balls is that they are copper coated, which means that you don't touch any lead. Um, it is it is a pain point for for a lot of shooters. Yeah, in between, and you can see while repeating, it's important to hold it upright. Oh. I missed everything. <laughs> I was going for the small cone. And now I hit it. Uh, what, what makes sense for you when building a shooting gallery? Build it so no rebound comes, comes back to you. You see my setup is not perfect. Um, you would need something that, that doesn't send the BBs back to you. But it's fine for now. I'm wearing my safety glasses and I'm in my in my studio. So yeah, that's fine. The small one again. Great how precise it is. After taking 100 shots, you definitely pumped up your arms. <laughs> that's work. 3.8 kg is quite some weight you are handling. And you can see I'm sweating already. Now let's destroy the pyramid on the left, right? Yeah, but it's super fun. Normally you take 10 to 20 shots in a shooting gallery, not, not uh, 500 per evening. <laughs> Yeah, just great, isn't it? Well, and the magazine is endless. <laughs> Fill it up once, the, um, the funnels, uh, and you can, can almost go on forever. One more shot. Man, I'm sweating. Filming this in the hottest week here. You can surely remember, uh, even if this video goes live a bit later, uh, it's the week with more than 35 degrees Celsius here in my attic. 
it is still so much fun and the rifle is definitely worth taking the effort and, and filming this video today. Guys, you all saw the gun can hit something. Let's head to the result. This is the result for the Diana 30 Neo review. Sweat is pouring down my face, but it was worth it. Well, this gun is built to last forever. I can't put it any different. Um, with the instruction manual, there comes a maintenance manual. There you can read how you can switch all pieces and possible wear and tear parts like seals and a spring on your own. You see, that's, that's great. I can't remember any other air rifle I tested over the last years coming with a maintenance manual to service and even repair the rifle, if you want to. A uh, service session is recommended every 15 to 20,000 shots. Nothing you do in one evening. I think it makes sense to check this rifle like every other rifle once a year. Are the seals okay? Is the spring in good condition? Um, yeah, and then you can have a lifetime of fun with this rifle if you take good care of it. Here in front you have a beautiful bronze barrel, just like the system, so I recommend removing fingerprints and sweat from it after using it. Um, otherwise it can collect surface rust, which would be super sad for a gun in this price range. It doesn't come cheap, but it's definitely worth it. You, you have an amazing piece of tech which is built super sturdy and for the coming decades. If you, if you think about it, old Diana 30 still can cost over 1000 euro on Egan. So yeah, you can imagine the conservation of value of a, a sturdy repeater like this one. What are the big advantages? I just want to list them again. 120 shots reservoir, front and rear side with high contrast and robust. CNC milled repeating system, extremely robust. You saw me handling it. <laughs> the 11 mm prism rail, even if nobody demanded it, I think it is great and shooting this gun with a red dot could be a ton of fun for everybody who doesn't like iron sights. You saw the trigger test, 340 gram trigger weight, completely adjustable, really cool. A beautifully manufactured stock with a fitting butt plate. From my point of view, nothing has been forgotten and people really put some brains in it to, to build a worthy successor for the very popular Diana 30. I hope you liked the video, even if the shooting test was a bit weird. <laughs> the Diana 30 Neo has between 2 and 2.5 joule, which is enough for distances of 3 to 4 meters. And yeah, you really don't need more power. It's, uh, it's just more likely that the balls will bounce back or you endanger the showman. You should feel safe too. I had a ton of fun. Please write in the comments if you want me to shoot it over a higher distance, even if it, not, if it is not sorry, optimized for it. I'm open to that and uh, will do it if enough of you request it. I hope you'll visit airgandi.de slash en, where you will find the link to Action Shop 24, where you can buy this great gun. I uh, wrote a nice text and put in some close-ups. I'm Super happy if you subscribe there to get informed when a new video is live. Thanks a lot for your time and to all the fair and carnival fans, the Diana 30 Neo could be pre-ordered when shooting this video. I'm guessing that it is already available at Action Shop 24 right now when this video goes live. Check it out. Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to your comments and see you next week. Ciao, servus, says Ergandi.